Broadcasting live worldwide. What does it mean to be a team player? How often have you worked in an environment where you felt as if the people that are on your team, in your environment, in your structure of workplace, are people that may not be playing on the same team that you are designated to play on? Let me be more clear. What happens when you work with coworkers that just don't get the meaning of the word teamwork? That is so important. And today, we're going to do a five minutes or less edition of what a team player should do. Have faith, let it begin. Start the clock after the intro. Five minutes or less starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Again. Let it begin. Again. Say have faith. Again. Let it begin. No, no, no. no? Okay. Hey. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah. Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Caitlin. Oh, oh, amazing. Caitlin, put those nice on. Start the clock, five minutes or less, right now. You know, one of the things that I find very fascinating uh, over the years that I've worked, and I'm, a lot I'm speaking about is the past, um, not current, for me is working with a bunch of people that do not know the meaning of the word teamwork. But I want to be clear. I'm speaking about the days when I worked for a company uh, called Dial America. I call. I spoke with a lot of people about this recently, and we talked about all the good times, right? We, you know, we loved all the the, the morale in the office. As far as when people weren't um, on duty, when they weren't on the clock, we we talked about the good old times. But then we started to talk about how great we could have been if we just worked together as a team, and it and really made me realize, you know, how often. Do we today or in the past or maybe in the future will work in an environment where people don't want to work together? Uh, You know, I always think of um, the wheel or the mouse, you know, is spinning the wheel. And if you put two people on the wheel, the wheel goes faster. But there's always that one mouse that just sits behind on the sidelines saying, well, you do all the work. I'll take all the glory. And it can't work that way. You know, if you're one of those people that work in a place where you are not pulling your weight, you're not adding this this talent that you have uh, because you just don't feel it or don't want to or don't like it, or perhaps you don't like the person you're working with, maybe that's not the job for you. Maybe that's not the environment you should be in. Maybe you should think about the other people that you're working with and how you're adding more work to their workload. Just the other day, I had a conversation with a young lady who was telling me that she left her job because others kept calling out and she would get stuck working the extra hours. Or quite often, a person would ask to switch with them. Or at many times, the person would be asked to do errands when everyone else was just sitting around. She would always be picked to do the things, the the one job that nobody wanted to do. And then when they would take vacation time off, they would get, still get called in on vacation. You know, that's not being a team player. That's not allowing others to shine, to glow. I remember working um, in the Middletown office um, for Dial America when I first started. I was 20 years old. And by the time I hit 21, 22, we had a young bunch of great people that continuously strive to be number one. And I worked with a colleague who you'll meet, by the way, come next week. Her name is Nicole. And Nicole and I were destined to be the night shift managers. And we had that shift locked. We had it locked down to the point where no one could touch us. We had our environment down. And, you know, you miss those opportunities. Now, could I have been a better 
individual during that time? Probably. I think my ego got the best of me. Um, I was still green. I didn't know any better. Um, but what I did know was that later, you know, as I got into the position, my manager pulled me aside and says, you're not doing A, B, and C. In order to get to D, E, and F, you have to do A, B, and C. Stop jumping the gun. And I listened and I applied and I succeeded and the night shift continued to grow. You know, it's not easy to admit when you're wrong. It really isn't. But it's so humbling and so inspiring and so helpful when you do. Allow yourself the ability to work in an environment that is good for you and others. And if you have the power and the ability to try to change that atmosphere for the better, just by pulling your weight a little bit more or showing others what gifts they have, what talents they have to provide others so that you can work smarter and not harder will make your life so much better. Be a team player. Remember who you work with. Remember who you work for because you are a direct reflection of the company that you represent. And if you're a manager, remember attitude reflects leadership and it starts from the top. If you become a good leader, if you allow yourself to lead by example, then everyone will follow suit and they'll be happy and respect you for it. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. This was Half Faith Let It Begin, five minutes or less after the intro. Have a, have a good day and never forget, have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you.